Hello, I'm Mike, and welcome to the Nerd Crew. We were just recently ranked number 8,967th for your online source for movie trailer reaction videos. I'm Jay, and even though I was on Screen Junkies once, I guarantee I am not a dirtbag. And I'm Rich Evans, and I'm borderline elderly and balding, but it's not beneath me to film myself reacting to movie trailers online. Oh, Rich, give yourself a little more credit. Your YouTube fast food review channel is quite popular and very informative. I have here the Hardee's two-third monster. It's got uh, uh, mayo, bacon, and cheese. All right, let's 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 try this. It's good. It's got a good taste. The taste is good. I'd I'd get it again. So. Thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe. Well, gentlemen, today's the day we've been waiting for since the last Star Wars trailer came out. It's the day that the next Star Wars trailer came out. That's right, Mike. With the first Last Jedi trailer, we got very little information. And I'm happy to report that with this new Last Jedi trailer, we got very little information. So little information. And you know what? I don't want information. I just want to see the movie. I'm going to see the film regardless. Yeah. I'm going to see the film. I'm going to see Star Wars because it's Star Wars. It says Star Wars on it. I'm going to see it. Mm -hmm. well, that's the most important thing, Star Wars. Now, a lot of you are going to say, why bother analyzing a trailer so much? You know, the movie's just going to be about lightsaber fights, a giant space battle, and something about destiny. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I thought there was going to be a but at the end of that. No, that was, that was it. Very cool. Very, very cool, cool. Very, very cool, cool. Very cool. Star Wars. it's back again everybody it's back again until it's gone and then it's back again it's back again and it's completely different and revolutionary yet at the same time it's all of the things you expect exactly as you expect them well rich it's funny you brought up the trailer because that's why we're here today everybody we're here to talk about the star wars trailer for the last jedi uh and it's very exciting news the trailer came out monday uh, during football. I don't know why it came out during football. Um, I don't imagine a lot of Star Wars fans watch football, but maybe they do now because Star Wars is, is transformative. I see so many brainless jocks wearing Star Wars t-shirts now because it's popular again. And, and to me, that's very cool. That's very cool. It means morons can enjoy entertainment that's now made for morons. And, and really, that, that it's very welcoming. It's very welcoming. It's very diverse. But... Uh, we we took a look at the trailer. We usually don't don't do trailer reaction videos, um, except for when we do. Except for when we do, and this time I thought it was warranted because literally there's nothing going on in this trailer, and I really wanted to catch our genuine reactions to that. Well, speaking of trailer reactions, uh, as everyone knows, we did get burned with our last attempt. Oh. Oh. Whoa! Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god, holy shit. Stop calling me Ben. You stop. I don't call him Ben. Yes! Like yes! Woo! Yes! Woo! Yes! Oh, well, Mike, I'm 80% sure that this time it's real. <laughs> so each of us, one at a time, went into a production office at our corporate headquarters and watched the new Star Wars trailer. We, of course, filmed our reactions. Let's take a look at it now. Looks, looks, like, looks Kylo like Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. But where, where is he? First order. Oh, oh wow. Oh, wow. New AT -AT, AT, -AT, design. AT AT design. Very, Very cool. cool. Kylo, Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Kylo Ren. Kylo No, wait. 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 No,
something truly special. Ray is holding, Ray a, lightsaber. Is holding a lightsaber. I like lightsabers. Very cool. Lucasfilm. Lucas yes. Yeah, fuck yeah. Yes. Gotta clap, clap yeah. for it. Gotta clap for it. That's, That's the idea. Luke's robot hand. hand. She's handing his hand. hand. She's She's hand. 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 His hand. lightsaber. Lightsaber. Oh, oh, chills. Jedi, Jedi training, Jedi training sequence. Jedi training sequence. I see Jedi. I see Jedi. Jedi. He's going to learn things. He's going to train. He's going to train. Train him. Train just like him. Wow. Train wow. Him. wow. So different. Lucas realizes how, realize how powerful, powerful she is. is. I've seen this raw strength only once before. Very fucking cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Luke's hand. That's actually Jedi. 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 Wow, wow. That, that was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. We got, we got see to it. see it. If you have to, that's the only way to become what you were meant to be. Oh my God! Oh my God! God. He's, He's got a Curry Fisher. 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 That's got a taste. That's kind of tasteless. A little bit of time to change the sequence. sequence. Mm -hmm. but it's it's a four-door. What works? Because they're so cute. Poe and Finn do things, things to fight, things the, first to fight the first order. order. Very, Very fucking cool. cool. Fucking cool. Finn versus Finn versus Phasma. 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 Yes. Awesome. awesome. This is not cool. Wow. wow. The way you tap it. Fulfill. Amazing. Amazing. Very cool. Rain and Snoke. Rain and Snoke. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Show me my place in all this. We turn to the dark side. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Star Wars! Oh my god! 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 Wow, we all had such different reactions. It's amazing, Rich, how different our reactions were and how we weren't pre programmed by a large corporation to respond to visual imagery. Yeah, we are all individuals. Well, guys, let's just get right into it, because this movie looks like it has so many new and original ideas, like AT-AT walkers attacking on a snow planet, for instance. As well as a young Jedi being trained by an old master. Even a solo training mission in a misty cave where he or she uncovers a terrible truth and what appears to be a final confrontation with the main villain, which apparently ends in a cliffhanger. It's amazing. I haven't seen such original ideas since Star Trek Into Darkness. You know, you know what, Jay? You're not going far back enough. I haven't seen anything like this since the back. That's right, Jay. Now we can look forward to December when this next Star Wars film comes out. We could watch it love it, and then wait for the next trailer to come out, which will be for the Han Solo standalone film. Then we could watch that trailer and endlessly speculate about what will be in that movie until that movie comes out. Then we can watch it and love it. But don't forget, Mike, and then while you're waiting for that, episode, there's Infinity War. War. And then all we have to do is wait for the Star Wars Episode Nine trailer to come out, and then we can endlessly speculate about what will happen in the final film of that trilogy. And then when that's over, we can wait for the Job of the Hutt standalone film trailer to come out. Out and endlessly spend. And also, don't forget, Mike, while you're waiting for that to come out, Wonder Woman 2 Dark Side in the House. Episode 10, the start of a new trilogy, and that trailer will come out and endlessly speculate about what will happen in this new trilogy. Are we going to get the same characters? Will it be set in the past? While you're waiting for that to come out, don't forget about Infinity War 2. Before Thanos the in the house. But guaranteed, we're going to get episodes 10, 11, and 12. But in between Mike, those, after episode don't forget 10 while you're waiting out, for that to come out. Think, yeah, Marvel's Infinity War 3. We can wait for the standalone Thanos in the house. The Obi-Wan Kenobi standalone film. And then but Mike, don't like, forget while you're waiting for that to come out. Justice League 2. Star Wars episodes 3 and 4. Dark Side sure has a in the house. Amazing adventures. And then we could wait for that film to come out. Very and when cool. that film comes out, we'll say, that but was Mike, great. I don't forget while you're waiting for that to come out and then after Thor that we can wait for the Star Wars episode 11 trailer Thanos to come out. and then in when the that trailer house. comes out we'll watch it and endlessly Mike, speculate about what happens in Star Wars episode 11 don't forget 11. about Batman versus Superman versus Wonder Woman
Wonder new Woman new versus Star Aquaman trilogy, three, which will probably Dark Side be a dark in the house. Like and the Last Jedi. But don't forget, Mike. Film, while you're waiting for that to come out, Infinity dark, War very cool three, part two, Doctor Strange crossover with Ant Man, Thanos in the house. Now, guys, I'm sorry to interrupt, but to get back to the Star Wars: The Last Jedi trailer. Uh, you know, I'd like to speculate a little bit about the themes that the film is going for. Uh, and I think it's going to be an extension of what Star Wars has always been about, and that is family. Just shut up. The next thing we want to talk about on today's Nerd Crew is another big trailer that dropped recently. And Rich, your outfit says it all. I'm talking about the Justice League. Oh, wow. I'm very excited about that film, too. Yeah! And while we didn't film ourselves reacting to this trailer, we are going to break it down shot by shot so we can analyze just what we think is going to happen in this new Justice League film. That's right, Mike. Now, me personally, I do love the Marvel films. I think they're fun, adventurous, and enthralling. But, you know, they are more aimed at children. When I want a darker, more intelligent comic book film, I turn to DC. That's right, Jay. DC is what I like to call the thinking man's comic book film. Nothing against Marvel, of course. Oh, no, we love Marvel. Marvel is great. But this new Justice League film appears to be dealing with much heavier thematic issues than the Marvel films deal with. Issues like the world is changing, teamwork, and stopping evil space bugs. Hmm, wow, that's that's really smart, Mike. You know, I've I've never looked at it through that lens before. You know, this winter I was planning on, you know, taking up some classic literature. I was going to read some Faulkner, some some Joyce, some Dostoevsky. But if I could just watch a movie about a merman hurling a trident at some space insects, I can really save my time. There's there's a lot to be said about the imagery of a cyborg hurling a merman into the sky so that that merman can throw his trident at a space insect. I mean, it speaks volumes about our culture, about the state of our nation and the world. Yeah, you know, you're, you're really right, Mike, that, you know, DC, they are, they're a bit more uh, sophisticated than the Marvel films. Now, I, I love the Marvel films. Yes, the we all love the Marvel films. Fun. They're, they're really fun great. films. They're they're very fun. fun. They're, 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 they're adventurous. adventurous. I just want to turn your brain off. They're, they're popcorn movie. films, basically. Exactly. They're popcorn. And that's fine. That's and that's okay. fine. That's fine. That's totally fine. Just shut your brain off and enjoy it. Shut your brain off and love that. But ultimately, you know, they're more simplistic movies and in the Marvel movies, you know, the heroes, they got to they got to learn to work together as a team and they got to they have to team up to fight, you know, the the giant purple space emperor who wants to take over the planet with aliens. You know, it's you know, and you look at the DC films and we have we have something different going on here. We got much darker. You know, we have much a movie darker. where we get much darker, where like Batman and Wonder Woman and 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 the Flash and Aquaman, you know, they have to they have to come together. You know, they have to come together, they have to learn to work as a team, and then they need to team up to fight against Darkseid, the, the giant purple space emperor, and he's, getting, you know, he's trying to use his space alien army to take over the Earth. That's very different and, and very distinct. Yes, um, yes. They're completely different. Thanos is a purple space emperor who wants to find the Infinity Gauntlet so he can take over the universe. Uh -huh. But Darkseid is a purple space emperor who wants to find the anti-life equation so he can take over the universe. Yes, uh, there was a very, very sophisticated way of explaining the difference to some people who might not get it. They, you know, they might think we're ragging on Marvel, but... We love Marvel. We, we love, love Marvel. We love Marvel. Love they're great. They're adventures. Fun they're fun colorful. Film. I love characters you love. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But because the picture is literally visually darker, in the DC films, that implies that their tone is darker. Well, that's interesting, Mike. I, I like that you brought up the aesthetic of the films, uh, and that's what I'm really looking forward to with this Justice League movie, is that Zack Snyder's aesthetic is all over this trailer. Jay, you are aware they replaced Zack Snyder with Joss Whedon, and he reshot over half the film. Oh, isn't that the guy that did The Avengers? Yeah, clearly the DC films are operating on a on a higher intellectual level than the Marvel films. And you can tell because of the blue filter. 
I don't know if Thanos even has an army of insect monsters. Um, we're in theory zone here. We've analyzed the trailer and we discovered several things. One, there's going to be a, a heavy present theme of teamwork, which is important. I mean, individually, they could fight space bugs, but Batman says in the film, we're stronger together than we are apart. That line, that line really hit me. It, it hit me right here. It gave me chills. Yes. It literally yes. gave me chills. What DC did that was really smart, you know, really smart. They, they used a previous movie in their franchise to, to hint at the space bugs. You know, in Batman versus Superman, Batman has visions of the space bugs, and we as the audience, oh, we, we know what's coming next. Yeah. That's just that, that extra special DC touch that only they could do. That's planning, too. That's what that says. That's planning. It's thinking ahead in your film series, like how Ben Affleck is going to come back as Batman again. That's planning. But really, gentlemen, what this film is about is teamwork. And... You can't, you can't have a superhero film without teamwork. Uh, but in addition to teamwork, I do think that what the Justice League is ultimately going to be about is family. Shut up. So after reviewing the footage of us reacting to the Last Jedi trailer, I did notice that one camera was left recording, and that was when Rich was watching the Last Jedi trailer. Uh, so... I don't know, Rich, did you happen to turn on the Justice League trailer after? What, what, the, 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 the camera was still on? Yeah, after, uh, after you watched the Last Jedi trailer. It was rolling for about 30 minutes. Um, did you happen to watch the Justice League trailer? Well, maybe we can just play back the footage. Uh, no, no, uh, uh, yeah. uh, um, Jeremy, can we, can we, Jeremy, can, can, you, can you play that footage? Take that, you fucking porg! What do you say, porg? Are you in 